Hello and welcome to Goa 365's English News Bulletin. I am Subhashish and these are the headlines. Goa police come under the spotlight over its handling of various murder cases, drugs. From family, media, neighboring states, underlining the seamy underbelly of the state's tourism, first highlighted 14 years back in the Scarlet Killing murder. Goa police arrest five men for illegal sand mining in Mad Bansai after one allegedly involved in trade killed earlier. Investigation on. Section of Goa Football Association hits out a President Churchill Alamao, accuses him of illegally clinging to chair, want him to step down immediately. And now for the news in detail. Goa police have come under the spotlight over its handling of various murder cases. One of them, the alleged murder of BJP leader Sonali Pogat, has underlined the seamy underbelly of the state's tourism. Here's more. Now, none other than the Hyderabad police are openly accusing Goa police of lethargy and alleging that they were uncooperative when dealing with one of the people arrested in this case. More than that, police is reported to have told a local media house that quite a few major drug lords have shifted to Goa, eliciting a strong denial from the state police. The state police find themselves in a tough spot. Our communication, when we have a negative result, we have to get a negative result. 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 We have to get Goa police have been facing flak for the way they have handled the case of murder or alleged murder in the state. The cases of Siddhi Naik, Sonali Pogat and the recent death of Mohammad Aga have one thing in common. It was the family members who had to persuade the police to carry out their job, all the while facing inappropriate treatment from the police. Kalangut police station, Ami Adlesa, Jai Saiban Amka, record Kaldale, Kire Mobile and Kire Kire Hat, Ani. हम तो जो आलोना मोर्चा आपने मुकल्ल क्या जिस आम का चेनी साइबान आप होए लेते हैं सर मुकल्ल ते कौन कौन जवानी सरेन कौन कौन आहा चितलें को आठ पाँच हाथी तो बड़ा खाता का किले में मका था में बसंत दो लोग जन अच्छे करता करता राखी अन्य ते बागा तो कालांगुट टेको पड़े तुझे मैं आज मरने साइबान मेरे म अने जो बस्तो जो गिर गिरी गिरवाड़ा ऐसे ची नर्सरी करे ची फुटे जानू आम का कंप्यूटर चेंज दाखिली the death of Sonali Pogat, a BJP leader from Haryana and a TikTok star, had initially been passed as an unnatural death. However, the Home Minister's statement of a death due to a heart attack had sparked outrage. It was Sonali Pogat's brother who pushed the matter further, demanding an autopsy, alleging that she was drugged and murdered. The issue escalated quickly and gained national attention with drugs and the club curlies which Sonali Pogat was last seen at getting involved. I have given them before in the P.A. Sudhir Sangwan and Sukhvinder Singh. There was no plan to go to Goa and the pre-planned murder was brought to them. They were not aware of Goa and the people of Sonali Ji. They were not aware of Goa and the people of Sonali Ji. They came to the film, but we had to do an investigation. My family came to the film. तो हमें यहाँ पर ना ही तो कोई कलाकार वगैरह मिले ना ही कोई फिल्म का सूट था होटल के दो रूम बुक थे और वो दोनों ही दो दिन के लिए बुक थे हमारे पूछने पर सुधीर सांगवान ने बताया कि फिल्म की सूट के लिए 24 24 अगस्त को फिल्म की सूट होगी the recent death of Mohammad Aga, who went missing following an accident on the Mandovi, had been downplayed by Goa police. The search for his body, which allegedly fell into the river, was carried over a day later. The body was finally found four days after the accident afloat near an offshore casino. However, his parents charged that their son's body had no signs of bloating and that he was only an innerwear while blood was still flowing from his forehead injury, alleging murder. The relative of the victim also charged that they were abused by police personnel at the station when they went to identify the body. 
तुम्ही मला सांगा चार दीस ब्लड जाली बॉडी कसे रक्त वाहतले आणि त्यांना काहीच इंजरीज ना आणि सगळे आणि हेल्मेट पोया हेल्मेट जर जर त्या हा किती म्हणतात जर त्या टायमार त्याला लागला इंजरी जाल्या त्यांना किती आसपे हेल्मेटाक लागत रक्त ना त्या आरशाक त्या गाडीच्या आरशाक जे बसला हेल्मेटा वडा त्यांना आरसो काढून तो हेल्मेट काढून दोन मागीर जम मारचो ना न्हू त्यांच्यानी त्याला मारला आणि एका थंय तर व्हरून दोरला आणि त्यांच्यानी काल राती हाडून त्याची बॉडी उडयला हे हा डायरेक्ट एक्झिशन करता किद्याक हे माझी डायरेक्ट एक्झिशन किद्याक ना जाल्या त्याची ब्लड रॉंग जातली बॉडी आणि त्याची कपडे काढले हंगा वयले ते प्रश्न मी खंय गेले तसे ब्लॅक त्याने क्लिअर म्हटला न्हू हुडी एडजस्ट करा आता कितलं फोटी उलयता तो ब्युरो रिपोर्ट गोवा थ्री सिक्स्टी फायव्ह टू डेज अगो गोवा पुलीस हॅड अरेस्टेड फायव मेन फॉर इलिगल सँड मायनिंग इन मार्ट बानसाय ऑल फायव्ह हॅव नाव बीन लेट आउट ऑन बेल द लोकेशन विच इज सिमिंगली डेव्हलपिंग इन टू अ मायनिंग हॉटस्पॉट इज ऑल्सो विथ द रिसेंट शूटिंग वॉज रिपोर्टेड फ्रॉम Police have tightened security in the area and officials say that another 25 people who are suspected to be involved in the illegal sand mining at this spot have been brought in for interrogation. Here's what Superintendent of Police Sami Tawaris had to say. Murder case badal investigation chalu asa. Dusri case ami ji keli regarding sand mining. Kal tanga 5 jana ko darlo bail mela. Pun tanga ami interrogation tanche chalu asa. Anik regarding murder case सगळे अँगलांच्या इन्व्हेस्टिगेशन चालू असा जाता ती आम्ही ट्राय करीत असा किती तर क्लू मेळपा आणि ही केस बेगीनच्या बेगीन डिटेक्ट करतो वीस पंचवीस लोक हाडले जे आमकां दिसता ते सस्पेक्ट तसे जांचेर आम्ही इंटरोगेशन करपा जाय जांचेर आम्ही वॉच दोरपा जाय जांना व्हेरीफाय करपा जाय हे लोकांना आम्ही हाडत असे आणि आज जोड जोड वीस पंचवीस लोकांक इंटरोगेशन चालू असा The arrests come in the wake of the shooting which occurred at the spot on Thursday. A group of 3 laborers reportedly extracting sand from the river at Mart Bansai was shot at by an unknown person. One of the 3 was killed on the spot while another was left critically wounded. Police are now investigating into both the murder and sand mining. Prahar Saudekar for Go365 from Kutchore. We will take a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back. People all around the state celebrate Sowat not only as a festival but because a deity who gives motivation and a stage for new artists. This Chaturthi too, most of the houses featured fictional and spectacular scenes by local artists. The old tradition of Chaturthi has been preserved in the house of Gokulda Salgaonkar in Talewade, Mayam, Norway. This year the decoration made of leaf stalk attracted everyone's attention. Dattaraj Harsh, Gaurang, Nyaneshwar and Dodu Salgaonkar have contributed to it. Have a look.
Javar Barve for Goa 365 from Norway. We will take a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back. Now for some sports news. A section of members of the Goa Football Association have hit out at its president Churchill Alamau, alleging that he is illegally clinging on to his chair even though his term ended on the 31st of July. Churchill has failed to conduct elections excluding elections agenda of the general body meeting held on the 31st July defying the GFA constitution. Clubs affiliated to GFA alleged the members argued that as per the Article 22 of the GFA Constitution, the elections should be held every four years at the AGM. Accordingly, the members brought to the notice of the House that the term of the President and the Executive Committee had expired before the conclusion of the meeting. However, the President and the General Secretary informed the body that the matter was sub judice and the President hurriedly concluded the meeting. Members alleged, demanding that Churchill should step down as President and Administrator to be appointed on GFA. The last date of our executive committee was on 31st July. After that, the committee can't go forward with their decisions. The administrator has to take charge of GFA. So we request the administration of GFA to announce the date of the election as fast as possible. The administration should go forward and have the election as fast as possible. Otherwise, we have to take the club into confidence and go forward with the requirement. AIFF was banned by FIFA due to its failure to hold the elections on schedule. Churchill also nominated his daughter Valanka to the AIFF Electoral College by bypassing the executive committee, members recalled. The members have decided to appeal to the appropriate judicial forum of the GFA and AIFF since Valanka was illegally nominated to the AIFF Electoral College. In 2018, there was a press note issued by the President of Churchill Brothers dated 28 July 2018, fighting for elections because the term of the old committee was over by the 31st. Or the tenure is four years, whatever, whichever is early, they have to move out. But now, the present committee wants to stick on to that table or the chair. 31st July we had a meeting. Practically everyone was saying, have the election, have the election. Why he is hesitant to have the elections? What is the reason behind it? He wants to continue? Or is he trying to press all the executive mem committee members to support him? No one is supporting him personally. But what I am saying is, when you talk something, you act and show the Baba, as per the constitution, Elections are to be held by the 31st July. With the approval, you can extend by three months to six months if the general body gives you the approval. The wrong thing and illegality he has done is he has sent his daughter Walanka Alemao to AFF for voting. It is shame on our executive members of Goa Football Association that they are not, as per the Churchill Alemao, he says that his daughter is more educated in football than the executive committee members. If he don't have any confidence on the executive committee members, just to send one executive committee member for the voting rights. So it is very bad on our Goa Football Association and for the football lovers. Without the concern committee, he has selected his daughter. Shamshari for Goa 365 from Parji. And now for the weather. The weekend is likely to be on the drier side. There may be one or two spells of light showers. However so, it is advisable to carry along rain wear when stepping out. Sunday will be relatively warm with highs expected to touch 31 degrees Celsius. Here's more. Saturday was mostly dry with only a few places reporting brief spells of rain. There may be an uptick in rainfall after the 7th, however no warnings have been sent out yet. The Med Department has not issued any warnings for boat owners along the Guam Maharashtra coast for the weekend. There is no high wave warning issued either. Expect lows to drop to 25 degrees Celsius tonight. 
Light rain forecast for the weekend. Maximum and minimum temperatures on Sunday 31 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius respectively. No warnings issued for boat owners. High wave warning not issued. Bureau report Goa 365 with inputs from IMD. With that we have come to the end of this news bulletin. For more news and updates log on to our website www.goa365.tv. Take care, stay safe and keep watching Goa 365.